When people think of smart devices today, typically they think of giving verbal commands to something like Amazon Alexa or Google Home. But in the future, your devices will be able to act on their own and Qualcomm gave me a glimpse of that future last week at CES. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of yearlive.com. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about tech, gadgets, and gaming. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below along with the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. As I mentioned, I was able to get a look at the future of technology as I toured Qualcomm's booth last week at CES. By the way, big shout out to Qualcomm for taking me around the booth and for sponsoring this video. And you know what's interesting? Most consumers either aren't aware of Qualcomm or what it is that they do, or if they are, they typically think it's just one of several ingredients that are used to create a modern smartphone. However, Qualcomm is leading the way to the future of IoT, while voice assistants keep coming to all kinds of things, and tech devices will be able to talk directly to each other. And that means they'll be able to take action from signals that they pass between one another without human intervention. This is a true internet of things where tech goes to work for you and understands your needs without you having to voice them. And it's a future where connectivity is everywhere thanks to 5G coverage. And chips are more powerful while requiring less power to operate, which means increased battery life, which opens up even more possibilities. In the next couple of years, Qualcomm is going to play a leading role in building the new wireless network that powers everything around us. That's because LTE and 4G will be replaced by 5G. That is the new upcoming wireless standard that uses high frequency millimeter wave spectrum to send way more data way faster than we can today. So let's talk about some of the devices and technologies that Qualcomm was demoing last week at CES. First, let's kick it off with some tech that you'll probably be able to get your hands on fairly soon. These are concept earbuds based on the new QCC 5100 series chip just announced by Qualcomm. These are prototype proof of concept that shows just how small the tech in our devices can be while still bringing about new features we've never had before. These are truly wireless earbuds using the QCC 5100, which support Bluetooth 5.0 with noise cancellation built in. It's also got long lasting battery life, and even biometric features that would allow them to do things like monitor your heart rate while you go for a run. They also support features like voice assistance and augmented hearing as well. So these are smaller yet way more intelligent than anything we have on the market today. And through this chip, Qualcomm is bringing about the technology needed for third party vendors to create this exact type of product. I then went over to check out the very impressive smart displays using the Google Assistant. This device in particular is built by Lenovo with Qualcomm's SDA 624 Home Hub platform. It's got Google Assistant built in, and as you can see, it's a super fluid experience. The display is responsive, graphics flow without stuttering, and you can talk to it from across the room to get information from Google itself or to control other smart devices in your home. I'm super excited about these and will definitely be picking one up when they go on sale this summer. The eight inch model will sell for $199 while the 10 inch version will sell for $249. Now, speaking of talking to your smart home devices, typically today, when you give a verbal command to a smart home device, that command is then delivered to the cloud, processed and sent back down to your hub to then perform the action that you requested. Now, some people out there say that there are some privacy concerns there and they'd much rather be able to have all the commands processed locally without going to the cloud. Qualcomm showed another proof of concept using a smartphone where the phone acts as the hub, allowing you to maintain a higher level of privacy. Command to speak into your phone, talk directly to your smart home devices with the additional benefit that commands are executed instantly without lag since they don't need to make the trip to the cloud and back. And of course, if you'd rather have a dedicated hub that just talks to everything, Qualcomm has you covered there as well. Again, keeping your commands on your home network rather than sending them to the cloud means commands go through instantly and conversations with voice assistants become more natural because you aren't waiting on the cloud processing in order to continue the dialogue. One way that Qualcomm hit this point home was with a demo of how the Internet of Things and 5G technology can change the future 
of business. You might have heard of this called industrial IoT. Examples given were things like a device that recognizes frost occurring on crops and then automatically deploys protection or sensing that rain has created enough water so automatic watering systems could compensate for the difference. And again, all this happens because devices talk to each other through the 4G or future 5G networks. Now this is different from today where you might get a notification from one device which senses how much rain has occurred but then you would manually have to take action on that notification and send a command to your watering device in order to compensate for the difference. In other words, even if you have smart devices today, it still requires human intervention in order to make everything work together. Qualcomm's working hard on bringing about the future where your devices talk directly to each other with no human intervention, giving both smart home and business hardware and applications the ability to actually be called smart. If you want to find out about Qualcomm's role in the future of the Internet of Things, hit the link down in the description below. So there you have it, guys. That was your look at the future of the Internet of Things, the future of smart technology, technology that will begin to talk to each other and work for you rather than you having to control everything that these devices do. Big shout out again to Qualcomm for sponsoring this video and for having me out at CES 2018. Any questions you have, leave them down in the comments below. I will meet you there for further discussion. If you haven't done so already, don't forget you can click or tap on my face when it appears here at the bottom of the screen in order to subscribe for free to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I will catch you in the next video.